Hello, hello, Backyard Comedy Club! <laughs> Thank you. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm six foot five, 27, and slightly overweight. I am Giacomo's wet dream of a customer. <laughs> a friend of mine came up to me once, completely unprompted, and just went, Connor, did you know you're tall enough that you're actually gonna live slightly less than other people? You're basically like a Great Dane. <laughs> Thank you. I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information, like get shorter and go to the vet more often. <laughs> Not in your life. Um, I recently moved back into my parents' house, so I am, as you can tell, absolutely killing it at life. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad they let me back, which is the main thing. The only issue is that I've had to move into my sister's room. Within a week of me moving out, my room was an office. She left years ago, and it's like she's only just gone. Now, this isn't a problem at all. The only issue is that if I were to describe the decor of the room in three words, it would be live, laugh, love. <laughs> I go to bed every night in a bed that's slightly too small for me, with a sign on one side saying, real queens fix each other's crowns. <laughs> and the other side, saying, happy girls are the prettiest. <laughs> we fucking love a motivational quote in our house. I don't know what it is about living with me, but having to remind yourself to keep calm and have a glass of Prosecco <laughs> manages to get us all through the day. So I originally grew up in Thornton Heath. And if you don't know Thornton Heath, for the people who are in daily release, um, it's the shit bit of Croydon. And if you don't know Croydon, it's the shit bit of South London. <laughs> so if you notice me dropping any T's, or as I say, just like T's, then that'll be why. But it wasn't always that way. Uh, basically, we then moved down to a leafy part of Surrey called Chaldon. Now, with this, it meant that... Thank you, they're a nice sister. Um, <laughs> basically, what this meant as well is that I was ha have to change school. And moving school is, is hard for most people. And it was hard for me, but it worked out all right. I started making some new friends, which was a wonder to many people. Um, but I even got a cool nickname, which people always want. Uh, my nickname was Bambi. <laughs> yeah, like the deer, like the Disney film, The Deer. I don't think I look like Bambi. <laughs> I have no deer-like qualities. Now, the reason that they call me Bambi was because I was new to the forest. <laughs> For kids that can't do English well, it's quite a good nickname, let's be honest. So that's how it all started, and then, you know how these kind of things happen. Eventually it became because I have long legs and I fall over a lot. Which I do, fair enough. The one that stuck though, the one that lots of my friends know me as Bambi to this day, it's because everyone thinks my mum got shot in the woods. <laughs> Some people don't know my real name, they just know me as the bloke with a dead mum. <laughs> she hasn't been shot. It's a dirty lie said by horrible little children. My dad's been stabbed but that's not cool enough to be a better nickname from a Disney film. <laughs> School was hard for me, even before people thought my mum was dead. Um, something to do with not trying or listening or being very clever. Um, basically, after a while, my school kind of thought, there's just something not quite right there. So they sent me off some, to do some tests to, to find out what was wrong with me. Now, has anybody here heard of dyspraxia? Yeah. Where were you lot like 15 years ago? <laughs> They were like, oh, just stick him in a, give him a laptop, him in, stick him in a special room and just don't touch his ears in case he bites you. <laughs> Showed them. <laughs> so the way that they told me was probably in the worst possible way that they could. They sat me down and they went, look, Connor, 
You've got dyspraxia. It's fine. All right, mum. Uh, <laughs> and it's absolutely fine. You're going to live an almost normal life. Look, it's absolutely fine. Harry Potter's dyspraxic. <laughs> Looking back, they meant the actor, Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Nothing makes you look more like you have learning disabilities than thinking you know magic. <laughs> For two weeks, I was putting spells on people in my little room where no one touched my ears. It was great. I even went as far as to make myself a wand. I went into the woods and got a really nice stick. The same woods, the same tragic, tragic woods that my mum did not get shot on. Please stop calling me Bambi. Thank you very much. Woo!